Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the new Sumire Primes from TNA. The Sumire are a new line of prime lenses from Canon. They're a rather unique departure from the clean, crisp optics that Canon has spent the last couple of decades pursuing. These may look like the CNE primes, but there are a few key differences that we'll go over, as well as a few simple comparison tests. At first glance, the PL mount is the most obvious difference between the new Sumire and the regular CNE primes. The original CNE were only available in EF mount from Canon. Also note the data contacts at the EF flange, which you won't have with the Sumire Primes. The lack of a PL mount was one of the biggest gripes cinematographers had when the CNE launched several years ago. Uh, alternatively, Duclos Lenses offered an aftermarket PL conversion for the CNE Primes, and still does to this day. The Sumire Primes will only be available in PL mount, and the CNE Primes will still remain exclusively EF mount from Canon. So if you do want the original CNE primes in PL mount, you'll want to look into the PL conversion from Duclos lenses. So now we'll take a look at some of the similarities between the CNE and the Sumire primes. Both have 11 iris blades, both have 300 degree focus rotation, and both have seven focal lengths, 14, 20, 24, 35, 50, 85, and 135. And lastly, a few key differences in the lens data and the mount itself. So what is it that really makes the Sumire unique? In Japanese, sumire or sumire means a violet or a flower in bloom. This is Canon's clever meaning for the cinematic quality that these new primes will render. Let's take a closer look at that blooming flower. Here's a simple scene comparing the two versions of the lens sequentially. We start with the plain CNE focused on Caitlin's face, then racking focus to the chart in the background, back to Caitlin's face, then to the keychain in the foreground. And after that, one more time to Caitlin. Now we'll look at the same scene shot with the Sumire. A quick recap of this scene. Uh, you may have noticed the well-known focus breathing characteristic of the CNEs. Also take note of the axial chromatic aberration, the purple and green color shift in front of and behind the focus point. These two characteristics remain relatively unchanged between the two versions of this lens. If you couldn't spot the differences between the two takes, you're not alone. Only when we punch in and really scrutinize the footage do we see the unique quality of the Sumire. The secret is in the spherical aberration. Take a look at this spot here in the original CNE, compared to the same spot on the Sumire. There's a clear difference in the amount and quality of micro contrast. This is what gives the Sumire its unique character. To really show how this can be harnessed and controlled, I set up a simple, high contrast, high fidelity scene. First, we'll test the CNE wide open at T1.3, and then switch to the Sumire at T1.3. There's an immediate difference between the two scenes. If you didn't catch it, here's the same scene cropped to show more detail. Once again, we have the CNE at T1.3, and then the Sumire at T1.3. At this magnification, it's pretty easy to see the additional sphere collaboration. Now, I can't decide if this is a feature or a flaw, and I suppose it's up to the user, but the unique character of these lenses is easily mitigated by adjusting the aperture. Stopping down immediately cleans up the image and reduces the effects of the spherical aberration. One could consider this a sort of variable control of the image quality, or it could just be an inconsistent look throughout the t-stop range. Either way, I applaud Canon for stepping out of their comfort zone and pursuing a project that isn't just about dollars or a home run on a sales report. This, to me, proves that Canon is listening to cinematographers and is willing to take a chance on something different. The Sumire Primes will begin shipping this August, starting with the 24, 35, 50, and 85. Pricing isn't firm, but you can expect a slight premium over the regular CNE. If you want to try the Sumire for yourself, contact Duclos Lenses today to schedule a demo. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments what you think about these new lenses.